Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and the full Ikoria spoilers are here. I'll be participating in the Streamer Early Access event. Um, so I'm brewing up some decks. Uh, that is Wednesday the 15th, so a couple days away. Ikoria will be around next weekend. So these are similar to like the last set when I was part of the Streamer event. I'm putting together a bunch of deck lists. Uh, obviously all are untested, but some ideas I'd like to play around with, some cards that are interesting, and just kind of something to get started with for the first few weeks. Um, I will be putting a post on my YouTube uh, where any of the subscribers, any of the followers, anything like that, if you do have deck lists that you have been putting together as well, looking to crowdsource some deck lists, some ideas, uh, if anyone's interested in brewing together, happy to do so. Um, so I'm going to try to play some uh, viewer decks as well over the uh, streamer event. Um, so this first deck that I'm putting together is probably the one I'm most excited to play right now, along with... Uh, kind of the graveyard decks, but it's kind of built around Luca, and it's what I call Boros Polymorph. Um, so I'm just showing this, this is just off Aetherhub Gallery view, uh, nothing too fancy, but it's just a way to show the cards off. Um, so Luca here, it is a five mana Planeswalker, uh, plus one allows you to exile the top three cards of your library, creature cards, exile this way, you can cast it as long as you have a Luca Planeswalker. We're not really using it so much for the plus, um, we do have six creatures in the deck, but the whole concept of this deck is to uh, abuse its minus two ability. So for minus two, you exile target creature you control, then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card with a higher converted mana cost. And then you put that card onto the battlefield and the rest in the, any order. So basically what we're trying to do is play kind of similar to the like, polymorph, which you take a token and then it becomes Emrakul. That's what like the modern deck tries to do. In our deck, what we have is a number of token creators, and what we're trying to do is either get out a Dracuseth, um, so it is a seven mana, seven, seven with flying. Whenever it attacks, it deals four damage to any target and three damage up to two other targets. It's pretty much the biggest thing in red that we can throw out there. And then we also have Yadaro, the wandering monster. So we have four of these in the deck, although it's legendary. Um, it does play pretty well with the whole strategy of this being a boros -y control deck. Um, so you can also just get an 8-8 Trample and Haste for minus 2, which seems really good. Um, but with Yadaro, you can uh, cycle it for 2 mana, and then you draw a card. Instead of it going to your graveyard, it shuffles into your library, and then if you cycle it 4 more times, you get to cast it for free. Um, so what you can do is basically minus 2, get one of these, and then you can just basically get free value that way. It's minus seven is creatures you control deal damage equal to its power to each opponent. Again, Luca's in here mainly for the minus two to try to abuse the strategies there. Um, so the rest of the deck is kind of themed around a Boros control deck. So this is something I played a little bit ago on the channel and it was pretty good. It was with Karn, uh, you fetched up certain lock pieces. Um, but with this one here, we have a couple cards. So Footfall Crater is, um, it works well with Dracuseth because it's, it, enchants your land and target creature gains trample and haste drago sets biggest weakness is it doesn't have haste the turn it comes down if we can give it haste it could smash and then deal some damage to your opponents it also could cycle for one which early in the game we can just uh, draw a card if we need to kind of get something out of the way um fire prophecy is another card uh that seems pretty good in this shell so it's a two mana three damage spell for a creature but it gives you the option to put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library and if you do, you get to draw a card. So this works out well when you draw, say, Dracuseth or your Daros in multiples and you can't really cast it right now. It's also good when you have, say, board wipes against a deck that doesn't really need to have board wipes against. And we are playing a Fires of Invention shell to get a value off it. So if you draw multiple fires, it's usually something that's not really worthwhile. So it's a way to put extra fires to the bottom and then cycle through our deck. Um, I have Birth of Melides here. Birth fixes our mana, but also importantly gives us an 0-4 blocker uh, early, but it's a token that we can then use Luca's ability to sacrifice it and then uh, get Dracuseth or Yudara. Uh, Chandra is in here, makes tokens again. I can also flash back certain spells in our deck that can be useful in the late game. And then um, it can put loyalty counters on our Planeswalkers, so it can plus Luca or... Uh, we have six mana Chandra in here as well, so there's some options there. Um, our sweep of removal spells is three sh Deafening Clarions, three Shatter the Skies. Um, we have a couple Outlaws Merriment as well. Um, so this is a card that, if you can play it the turn with Fires, if you're just play paying four mana outright, not the best, but it's a, t a continuous token generation. So you can, in theory, go Fires, 
Outlaws Merriment, and then turn five Luca something else, and then get one of the big creatures out. Um, all the cycling also works really well with fires because you have your extra mana held up, so you can uh, feed it into that. Uh, we have two Elspeth Conqueror's Death. It gets back any of our key pieces if they die. And then it's just in terms of the mana base. The early streamer event is just best of one, by the way. Um, so I'm not really putting sideboards together right now. Uh, when we play these decks as part of our regular stream, then I'll, I'll add sideboards once we figure out the meta. Um, so the mana base is pretty simple. We have four Sacred Foundries, four Temples. I'm playing two of the Mardu Tri-Lands, uh, the Bicycle, Tricycle, whatever you want to call them lands. Uh, it does come with play tap, but it does have the option to cycle. So if it's late game and we have a lot of extra mana, we could just cycle these away. But it's really just allowing consistency to our mana base. And then a whole bunch of basics. So pretty much the deck, like I said, its main idea is control the board and then win with a either combo-y finish with Luka, getting out big creatures, cheating them in, or just like Chandra upticks, or just kind of value out of those. Um, so this is the deck. Let me know what you think. Again, these are initial brews obviously untested, um, but looking for feedback, any suggestions you might have, anything that I might have overlooked, uh, do let me know. Um, the one thing that people might be suggesting is the like the two mana creature that whenever you cycle, you deal two damage, um, some of the effects like that. That kind of messes up the polymorph aspect because you don't want to sack a token to get one of those. You want a seven mana creature uh, when you kind of cheat them into play. There's also like uh, the Star City guys did a Jeskai version um, that was more of a Planeswalker Super Friends, that one with uh, Enraiser Forerunner. I don't like that one as much because you can never cast Enraiser with the deck. If the games go long, we are a control shell, we can just hard cast these creatures. So everything in the deck is castable and it's not reliant on having an existing board state. Enraiser, you can cheat it in, but if you don't have existing creatures, you're not really going to be doing much with it. It's just a 7-7. Um, so it's pretty much the deck. Let me know what you think. I'm going to be doing these for a bunch of different decks over the next couple days. Um, so if there is anything you'd like to see, I'll try to put something together. Or if you have some ideas, you want to workshop something, then let me know. Thanks for stopping by and uh, hopefully catch you at the, the streamer event. Thanks.